This demo explores a few capabilities of NVIDIA's VRWorks Audio technology. VRWorks Audio adds realism and immersiveness to gaming and VR experiences with path-traced acoustics. We'll turn VRWorks Audio on to experience the effect. The difference is almost immediately apparent. At the moment, the sound source is attached to the camera location. As we move through the space, the auditory experience adjusts interactively as the relationship between the source, geometry, and listener evolves. On the first floor, the concrete walls and ceiling are acoustically active, while the curtains absorb sound and dampen acoustic effects. The second floor, by comparison, is more open, but composed almost entirely of hard surfaces which reflect sound well. As we head to the top of the atrium, we hear the decreased size of the surrounding space just as much as we see it. If we leave the atrium entirely, information carried along the auditory channel makes it clear that we've left the enclosed space of the atrium for a more open space, lacking nearby reflecting surfaces. As we fly back into the atrium, we get the opposite experience. The change in acoustics creates a sense of envelopment as we return to a space almost entirely enclosed by reflective surfaces. We can move to an even more enclosed space in the back hallway of this geometry. This space is characterized by strong echoes and long-lived reverberation. VRWorks Audio gives us the ability to control the acoustic properties of materials interactively. For example, we can reduce the reflection coefficient of the brick material surrounding it. As we reduce the amount of energy reflected when sound encounters the brick walls, the total amount of acoustic energy in the space decreases as well. If we increase the reflection coefficient again, it has an immediate impact on the way the space is perceived. We can make judgments about the size and composition of our surroundings without ever seeing or touching them. It's enough to just hear them. We can now detach the sound source from the camera and it will appear as a magenta sphere. As we fly away from it, we note that VRWorks Audio is also adding directionality information, allowing us to hear the location of a source we may not be able to see. If we move around the corner, the source is occluded. We can still hear the source because of indirect paths and diffraction. If we move away from the source, the gradual change in the acoustical experience is constantly updating our perception of the space and our location in it relative to the sound source. It's easy to get used to having the sound adjust interactively to where you are in the scene. And turning off VRWorks Audio shows just how much the acoustical information can add or take away in its absence. If we move from one space to another now, there's no change in the experience. It's rather flat. Re-enabling VRWorks Audio and moving between spaces adds another dimension to the experience. You hear the change as you see it. The agreement between visual and acoustic spatial cues is a powerful force for immersion. That power is now available to developers and content creators with NVIDIA's VRWorks Audio.